Hi, this is Mark Nelson with Rio Grande Tech Support here to demonstrate the slide and lock system. And before I do that, I want to talk about how we normally work, which is with our bench pan uh, positioned about mid chest level and typically with an optivizer or some other type of magnification. So when we're working, a lot of times in order to see, what we'll do is we'll raise and lower our head to bring our object into focus. And what that'll do is it'll put a little bit of eye strain, neck strain, or back strain on you and uh, make it kind of uncomfortable over a long period of time to continue working. What the slide and lock system does will actually raise and lower the work to your face um, so where you can see it. What it does is it mounts to a regular uh, mounting plate on your bench and it'll slide on like that. And what it'll do is actually raise and lower very easily with the cam lock to all sorts of different types of positions. Not only that, but you also have three different positions where you can mount your plates. You can mount it at the top, the middle, or the bottom. And to do that is very easy. All you need to do is just un unscrew them and, and screw them into place. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm gonna move this top one down to the middle. And once you get all the screws in there, you do wanna make sure they're nice and tight. And now you can set your, your holding device at the level that you're the most comfortable with. And then again, you can raise and lower it to the height that is most comfortable for you. It does work on a cam lever system. This right now is particularly set up for a right-handed open and close, tighten or loosen. You can also undo the main screw and just simply flip this over and screw it back into place and it'll be a left-handed operation right there. When you do raise and lower it, you do want to hold it at the bottom of the slide lock plate. If you hold it by the tool that's in there, it'll probably just come right out because they're, they're clamped on with a downward pressure. So be sure to hold the bottom as you're moving it up and down. And over time, it's going to become second nature. So you'll be able to do this without even thinking about it. One thing, you, there are also some um, little stops here to keep it from slipping out all the way so it's not going to fall completely out of the mounting system. You can uh, put all sorts of devices on there. You can do a ring clamp. Sometimes, a lot of times when you don't have a slide lock system and you want to raise and lower your ring clamp, what you'll do is you'll kind of flip this around and change the height of it. But instead of doing that, all you need to do now is raise and lower it to a position that's going to be real comfortable for you to be working in, like that. Or if it's a really tall object, you can lower it and work on it like that. The system is designed to be able to hold an engraving ball. This is our large engraving ball. If you are going to do an engraving ball, you do want to make sure that your mounting plate is securely mounted to your bench. We highly suggest the uh, mounting adapter plate, which will screw uh, a little bit more securely into your bench. And we'll just go ahead and slip that right on. And now you can work on your engraving ball. If you do want to adjust the height of it, you'll probably want to take this off and adjust the height a little bit uh, because these are really heavy. Um, that will be a little bit safer to do. For the most part, you'll probably be working with one or two tools. So when we go to work, instead of having to raise and lower our head to bring things into focus, we can now raise the work up and down to bring it up to where we can see it. Well, I hope this is of some help. If you have any questions, do give us a call at 1-800-545-6566 or look us up on the website at riogrande.com.